Okay, now we're looking at the North East New South Wales at East Queensland tomorrow. And we're expecting another day of severe thunderstorms. Now we're looking for the um, lifted index at 2 o'clock tomorrow. We might see a lot of activity, we might occur off the coast. However, unfortunately, this is it a little bit over controversy about how severe it would be, especially as minus 9 of the Ballon and Brian Bay. Now we're looking at 5 pm, it has changed a lot, which is coming a bit more closer towards pointing out casino and the Toowoomba areas. Thunderstorm may be expected to be um, development up between 2 pm 5 pm. The, the cap values are actually a bit average because we have a lower moisture level. According to GFS um, precipitation models, where the showing rainfall at less than 5 mm in most places. I won't be surprised that this activity will be repeated on last Friday. The wind shear is very good and expecting Thunderstorm to move easily at an average of 40 km per hour. The thunderstorm activity it may come in a little bit um, west from the range with a, a orographic uplifting along here. And we see it may change at 8 pm and coming off the coast really quickly. And the way that the line the front are coming across here. And now we are looking at the temperature at 300 MB. The temperature was really cold. It made a cold tongue coming out of here. And there we might be expecting hail. Unfortunately, we don't. I will to predict how big the hail will be, but maybe a severe enough to get two centimeters. Now we are looking back to 2 p.m. for the um, the calf values. You can see the activity will may likely to start along his, between Glen Innes and Toowoomba up to the north of um, Brisbane area. It's because the um, autographic uplifting and surface heating, and where we see the temperature uh, should be hovering around 25 degrees cooling in area. With the thunderstorm activity, should be moving east at 40 kilometers per hour, like I said before, heading towards the warmest area along the eastern range. In Brisbane, we see temperature up to 30 degrees. The thunderstorm activity will be likely to occur in this area. This the temperature spot. It does not tell you where the most thunderstorm activity. Now we are looking at the sweat index. The sweat index shows you at 2 p.m. where thunderstorm activity will be likely to fire up here in Toowoomba along the north of the border and make some weaker activity down south of Cough Harbour. And Port McCoy and change it to 5 pm as it will start to push the lawn to the east. It's coming towards from west at least more and over to Toowoomba. And the activity remaining on persistent south of Grafton. And after it 8 pm, it will more likely to get off the coast as quick as possible of Lismore and Ballinet area and remaining activity over Brisbane. Now we are looking at the supercell possibility at 8 pm we will more likely right off the coast. However the back to 2 pm we we'll start it's really hard to predict the supercell possibility because of the favorable condition and the 5 pm it's still the same but more likely where the thunderstorm activity have been formed to warm back. We might likely to ignore this. And the last thing we are looking at the um, surface it lifting index. 
and it can the cap values as uh, we can see the synthesis change between IPM and 5 IPM radioactivity will be more likely to occur especially the cap value has showed the same progress there we got 8, 5 PM and 2 PM it's nothing really change you see from Toowoomba and coming towards up the coast to 8 PM pushing down here north of the border to the overall potential thunderstorm activity should be more likely to occur at this point at the time at, um, at 2 PM it's obviously the Toowoomba really begin and west of Cop Harbour. The red area marked the thunderstorms be likely to be severe. At 5 p.m. more like something occurred between this morning graph and, and over Toowoomba range and minimal over the Gold Coast area. And finally over the seas will be a light activity coming across the, on the coastal area where the remaining high humidity and higher surface temperatures able to pick this up.